let's talk about the most important sporting event in the known universe. Because if you happen to have taken residence under a rock, the first thing you need to know is that the World Cup is played once every four years by 32 teams. As soon as one cup ends, teams start competing in qualifying matches around the world to be one of the 31 teams to make the next one, and that year's host country is guaranteed a place at the pitch. Once we know the 32, soccer's governing body divvies them into eight groups of four each. The teams are entered into a controlled chaos and drawn one by one from four pots. The seven highest ranking teams go into a seated pot, then as FIFA endeavors to mix things up, the following groups are arranged into the remaining three pots based on geographic distance from one another. After all the groups are sorted, we get a round-robin style series of matches that decide a winner and a runner-up from each group. Each team plays every other team once, and the two teams with the highest points at the end of group play move on to the round of 16. From here it's simple, working much like the basic bracketology you're probably already used to. Each winning team competes against a runner-up team from a different group, which narrows the teams down to eight in the quarterfinals, four in the semis, and then the top two teams compete for the one solid gold cup to rule them all. There are a few other Midas touched awards for soccer excellence, like the Golden Ball for Best Player, the Golden Boot for Top Scorer, the Golden Glove for Best Goalie, and the Golden Video for Best Condensed Animated Explanation about the World Cup and all this shit you now know about it. Click here for more Soccerology and don't forget to subscribe to GQ if you haven't already for more like this and other shows for the modern GQ man.